these all cleaned and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the piece. So I'm using this interior paint and primer, and I have a little dish, a rug for cleanup, and gloves, and a brush. So I'm just gonna get to town. <laughs> as you go. I think this is important because you don't want a huge mess at the very end to clean up. You're, you're going to have a lot to be cleaning. So I would recommend cleaning as you go like this. It's going to save you a lot in the very end of the whole process. So I wanted to go ahead and paint this desk as well. And also I'm moving the white cube I just painted into its place. So I gave this desk a good wipe down and clean any gunk off and I used the same paint to prime and paint this desk. So then I moved the desk to its place with my feet of course. I got this a while back from Michael's on clearance. It was like $6 or something. And I think it's super cool that you can like use these stencils to make designs. I thought I would go ahead and try this out today on the desk. Because I want to eventually do the dresser possibly. I don't know. So let's go ahead and test it out today. <laughs> so I chose a stencil and then I just set it down on the middle of the desk. I put some tape down to hold it in place. Then I just took some black acrylic paint and kind of squirted it in just random little areas. Then I used a foam brush and I just tapped it all over, being very careful not to mess the design up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stencil and let it dry. I'm gonna go wash off the stencil and soak this in water. All right, and I wanted to add a little like border. I thought I was like, I could do it over this curved section, but I didn't like that idea as much. And then I thought, okay, well, maybe I can put it on the side. So I tried it right here on the, on the side and I didn't like that idea either. So I ended up putting it on the outside of the side, just to have like a little moment right here. And I thought that really just tied the whole piece together. Then I decided to go ahead and hang up the cork board right above the desk. That way I'd have lots of nice things to pin on this board. I used the tape method where you line up the tape as long as what your frame is, put the tape up on the wall, step back and look, is that even? Then you just drill your holes right into the tape and then the tape will <laughs> just come apart like that. Because I already know that I'm going to be putting my sewing machine on the desk over here that I want to dedicate this unit to fabric so I can easily access my fabrics right here. So I'm thinking like I'm going to go ahead and start that process of filling the fabric in over here.
this basket, I found it under my bed. Actually, nothing was in the basket, so I figured, like, I could try and use it. Like, it doesn't fit very well, but I think I'm okay with it. Um, but I think I want to go ahead and store all my yarn and stuff in here, because I have a lot of yarn. actually found this other basket um I painted it so I think I may uh just go ahead and do another one I have another one like this uh that fits a bit more comfortably on the shelf and I can also separate like my smaller pieces of yarn that I'm already working and doing projects and okay so I went ahead and actually painted one of these Easter baskets I got from Walmart and then these baskets just didn't work out so I end up moving the one you see here and the other Easter basket I painted up to the top middle shelf of this whole entire wall and then on top of this shelf I added two Dollar Tree larger baskets which I will show you later on in the video okay so so far this is what my room is now looking like this was day one i started tackling the fabric section over here i don't know if these boxes will stay here or not um or i don't know obviously like this is still a huge work in progress all of that to do yet so i'll have to move this shelf thing out of here so yeah it's Definitely a big mess, but I've been going through every like piece of fabric, so all this whole thing is like filled with fabric. And I started working on putting my yarns and stuff together. And then up here, I obviously want to remove this stuff. And I think I'm going to put this light over here in this corner, just because there's like what else would go there, you know? The light, and then maybe like a bucket down below, and I can put shorter things uh, like that in that bucket just something to that's kind of easy accessible but also is hidden back there so we'll see how that comes along but I, I really am liking this being tan and not white it really brings in like these pieces of wood I'm really liking like the whites and tan vibes it really lightens up the whole room so far this is what's going on so maybe I'll end up painting this chair a tan color as well to just like match like the wood so we will find Good out morning it is day two of my little reinventing my art room I'm so excited so here's what it looks like so far sorry the camera is a bit dark I don't have my flash on so I'm gonna go ahead and go to Dollar Tree and I'm gonna get some cute bends or something to kind of like put things in and make everything look nice so I have like this one over here and I'm hating the color and everything it's not really going with the vibe so I'm either gonna spray paint some bends or kind of remake them with maybe cardboard or something so I got to figure this out so I really want to get some bends and things around so I can properly put things in their place and I also want to get some labels so all right wish me luck I'm on my way to Dollar Tree okay guys I went to Dollar Tree and Walmart to pick out some storage bends and solutions to store my my things so I found these at Dollar Tree which is pretty cool it's the size that will actually fit so it's a new larger size which is pretty cool collapsible fabric storage container I picked up six of these that's all they had left and I'm like that's not enough but they're a brown color which is not too bad I guess I don't mind that color it's not bad 
Um, I also picked up labels to do some labeling. I wanted all matching labels. This is a 30 count in each one. So I got 60 labels that all look the same. We will see how that works. Because I don't know if I'm going to put these on like the fabric totes or not. We'll figure that out. I picked up one of these larger containers. Now I will let you know these are flimsy. I'm not like super happy about how it's not... See what I'm saying? It can crack easily. It's not a very good solution, just so you know. Like, I would not recommend Dollar Tree storage stuff. They did have these huge containers, and this is, like, for storing food. But they are pretty large. They're larger than your normal, like, they're wider anyway. So we'll see how those work. I picked up three of those. And then this is the normal one I was talking about. I picked up nine of these. But I do want to point out... I found a better deal at Walmart because at Dollar Tree, they're a dollar a piece. Walmart has an entire set of 10 with the lids for $7.98. So that is a way better deal. And I really like the lids and the material feels like sturdier than the Dollar Trees. I also got this from Dollar Tree. I got eight of these. They are a step shelf for each shelf. So you can see what's in the back. So I know I'm going to be using a couple in my kitchen, so we'll see how this ends up going in my art room. I might even use some in my beauty room as well. I also found these at Dollar Tree. I didn't like the color, but I thought the overall shape was really cute. I got three of the rectangular ones, and then I got two of the large tub looking ones but I think I might spray paint those I'm not entirely sure yet and then I also found these at Walmart and they were only five dollars a piece which I thought was a pretty good deal they have all these like sliding drawers and you can label each one of them and just have all like little things inside these they're not like the sturdiest you can see but they also are stackable they have this lip on the bottom that will fit up inside this lip. So I picked up two of those for now. If I like them, I'm going to get more, but I was thinking like they might be able to actually fit. <gasps> they fit in there. So, I mean, it does hang over a little bit, but that's like, I mean, it, for the most part, it fits inside. So maybe I will pick another Good one. Up. Morning. It is day three on redoing my art room. I'm so tired, like, from working on this and then going to work. I don't know, you guys. It's not even 10 in the morning yet. <laughs> but this is where I'm at so far. Still have a lot of to do. I've been kind of slowly picking through the stuff, going through it, you know. And here's the room. So I ended up swapping out those baskets. I've actually put them up there because they fit better and I'm able to hide things up there where things I don't, I'm never really going to grab. They're kind of more sentimental art pieces or something like that are going to go up there, I think. And then right here is where I just end up putting all my yarn and it fits pretty comfortably. I just, oh my gosh, these shelves just, I need to just take everything out and have a game plan. That's what I was supposed to be doing, but it looks like I've just been moving things around on top of each other, and it's just, it's like I, I have to remove it 20 times before it gets to its home, and this is so out of order, but I really don't have much more room to bring things out into the living room and comfortably sort. So I did get a lot of my floral pieces done last night. So that's nice. I got all the shelves packed away in one big bin and a few others right here. I'm not sure if this is where they're going to stay either because this section, I want it to be where I grab the most. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode.